So, we'll have you guys over here and the band will set up over there. Nice. Hey, how you doing? I'm Nero Johnson, star of the Hellsmith School Choir. Okay, say someone wanted to get their demo played. Hypothetically speaking, how would they go about it? In the studio today, performing a unique version of their next single, it's The Splutters with the Ellesmere Manor Choir. Been with you a long time. Hey, who said you could go in there? Uh, it's for my mate. She's got a big solo. She's very nervous. She's only ever sung in the shower. That's why we've got the blinds drawn. Don't I know you? Just got one of them faces. You were the one who pulled that scam on us. What are you up to now? Nero? What's going on? Guys, we're on the clock, going live in two. Daniel Granger? Yeah, over here. Kevin, excuse me, sorry, sorry, excuse me. Sorry. Oh, who are you? I'm Daniel Granger. Oh, you're his dad? No, no. Do you know? Well, you said he was called Daniel, so no. Oh, what's he up to? Probably still my identity. Phone? Did you say he calls himself Daniel Granger? Why would he steal your identity just to buy a student coffee? And flirt with me? Well, we're gonna go back to his. Do you think he was gonna try something with me? Do you know where he lives? Yeah, Greenbank. Okay. May I borrow your phone, please? I want to call the police. Which one's Greenbank? Come on, I'll show you. May I borrow your phone again? Yeah. I'll try calling my kid. Oh, I've got to see what else he keeps in the closet. <laughs> Oh, there's all sorts in here. I mean, there's no one style. It's like he's got different clothes for different people. Hey, do you think he's done this before? Like a professional con artist? Ah, uh, I don't know. Well, how'd you meet him, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, he was a walk-in patient at the surgery this morning. To be honest, I thought there was something slightly off about him, like he was, uh, like he was trying to study me or something. Now, we just need to be sure. Don't worry. We're all friends. We just need to be absolutely certain of the facts. So, this is the man? Yeah, that's him. Definitely. Yeah. So what happened? It's like I told him. It was about a few months ago when I went down to the new union and he was there. He's the murderer, isn't he? Yes, he is. Okay, just tell us about him. I kind of copped off with him. I mean, we went for a walk and he was a bit weird, talking about sunlight, all this stuff about the sun. And we walked down Canal Street and kind of stopped in the doorway and we snogged, you know. And then all of a sudden he just walked off. I was like, fuck you then. And he did this with others? Yeah, this lad from Hobbies, same thing. Snogged him, ran off. And you find him, this lad? Yeah, I know him. Stay away from me. <laughs> Shut up, man, and listen. We just want to talk. You're all right, and I'll stick the kettle on. You've got bigger problems with Finn than us. Well, it's all yours. Do what you want. No comeback. Right. He touched your dad's garage. So, what are you going to do? As far as I can see it, he's on your turf already. We've got plans for him. I'm going to take care of him tonight, the prom. We've got company. Come. Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, I'm trying to get that Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, I'm trying to get that Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, I'm trying to get that Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, I'm trying to get that Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, I'm trying to get that Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, Oh, fuck, the sound of the drum, I'm back to the street. Oh, fuck, man, don't say he's been shot. Go, Dad. I fucking shot someone. Well, he hasn't had it because he's wearing a bulletproof. He's got... Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, I'm trying to get that old. Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, I'm trying to get that old. Mich